This story is called Listen, Grampy. It's written by Anne Harth. Jordan ran into his grandfather's room. Grampy, it's time to eat. Grampy stood up. Well, come on, I'll help you wash them. Wash what? Your feet, Grampy held out his hand. You said you had dirty feet. No, Grampy, listen, Jordan laughed. It's time to eat. We have to go downstairs. Grampy sat back down. I don't know what's wrong with the old ones, he said. Jordan sighed. The old what? Chairs, Grampy said. You just said we need new chairs. No, Grampy, listen. Jordan stamped his feet. We have to go downstairs. Dad's made us a steak. Grampy grabbed the arms of his chair. Hold on tight, Jordy. Why? Jordan said. Earthquake. You said we're having an earthquake. No, Grampy, listen. Jordan put his hands on Grampy's cheeks. We're having steak. Come on. Dad's waiting. Jordan walked toward the hallway. I can't, Jordan. I gave them away years ago. Jordan turned around. Gave what away? My skates. You said you wanted to go ice skating. No, Grampy, listen. Dad's waiting. Hurry. Dinner is getting cold. I know. It will happen to you one day, too. What will happen, Grampy? You'll get old. You said I was old. I know that. But I wasn't always old. No, Grampy, listen. Jordan saw Grampy's hearing aid. It was on the small table beside the bed. Dinner is getting cold. Jordan held out the hearing aid. Here, Grampy, wear this. Grampy leaned forward. He puckered his lips. What are you doing, Grampy? Jordan said. You said you wanted a kiss, Grampy said. No, Grampy, listen. Jordan placed the hearing aid in Grampy's hand. Please wear this. Grampy put the hearing aid in his ear. Hey, you two, Dad called from the kitchen. It's time for dinner. We're having steak and it's getting cold. Jordan looked at Grampy. Grampy looked at Jordan. What are you waiting for, Jordan? Grampy said, it's time to eat. Do you think Grampy is frustrated that he cannot hear Jordan? Why or why not? What could Grampy and Jordan have done to understand each other from the beginning? Thanks for listening today. I hope you like the story.